So hello and welcome back to another coin video. So today uh, I've been looking for a UV lamp. I couldn't actually find a really good one so I just got a UV torch. So this is uh, a generic one. Obviously it has no branding but it has LEDs. Obviously one is UV and one is light. And the first time you click on it, it has just a light. Click it again, it has UV. So this is actually pretty good for checking UV on banknotes. But obviously you need a dark environment. So if you turn all the lights off and... Well, I've got all these older banknotes. We're just going to check to see what type of UV. So this is the old $1 from New Zealand. And as you can see, the UV up the top. So this is actually quite good. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, so these were in, uh, stopped being used in... Wow, that's the coat of arms of New Zealand. Uh, in 1990 or 91 when they introduced the coin. So all these $1 banknotes should have the same UV on it. So I think these were first introduced in 1984 or something like that. Uh, I, so that's the $1. Yeah, obviously the more damaged it is, it's harder to actually see the UV. Okay, the $1. So that's the actual coat of arms in New Zealand. Probably a lot better than what Australia had. And then we get to the $2. So the $2 has slightly different UV. So you've got UV here. And any denomination. No, you've got the coat of arms and the denomination again. So the two. So pity. They, they should have actually made the bird fluorescence. Because that would have actually been quite nice. Okay, see, this one's not as damaged. And as you can see, the UV is actually showing up a lot better. Okay, so that's definitely worth your while actually getting one of these. Even if you just use it for business purposes. And you check to see if the banknotes counterfeit or not. Okay, so now we've got a $5. Uh, and the UV is a lot better. So that is the front of the note. Queen Elizabeth II on the back uh, we had the coat of arms and the denomination so you see there's a definite pattern in the UV they just try to make it standardized so it doesn't confuse people and we had the 20 so the 20 gets more specialized so we've got UV over this side as well as in the center and on the right of the Queen Elizabeth II and on the back we have denomination and the coat of arms again. So this one's probably only worth 20 bucks. Obviously it's quite damaged. Okay, so then we get the 2000. So this was issued for the Millennium. Obviously Australia never issued any of these. And this side, uh, we don't have any UV features. On the back, no, I'm surprised actually. Uh... That does turn like a purple, so maybe that's a UV feature. The actual blue turns to a purple colour. But I think that's just the the ultraviolet, because they call it ultraviolet. And, yeah. So, yeah. So these polymer notes don't have any UV features. You sure? Yeah, I've got three of them. And they're all the same. Okay. That's that. Okay, so now we've got the current New Zealand $5 note. And as you can see, the UV is in the 5. Disappears. And if we turn it over, we don't have any. So obviously, countries are moving away from UV. Uh, and probably more using this security feature here. So the metallic security thread. Uh, UV does have its place insecurity of a banknote okay so now we've got the current five dollar singapore and as you can see the uv there turn it over none and then we've got the ten dollar so that 
that's quite simple. Looks like we've got some UV on the back. Then we've got the paper Canadian $5 banknote. And as you can see, it's only the security threads that are UV. And on the back is the same. So it's a bit different. Also cheaper. KD2001 Hong Kong one fifty dollar Still legal tender. You can spend it. Obviously security feature. UV there. And UV is 50 on the back. Okay, so this stripe here shows up as UV and a 50 there as well. So that's... Hmm. Then we have China. Obviously UV here. On the back. We have UV up here in the Pat Nation, but obviously not in the main design. Okay, Italian 2000 Lira, so once again like the Canadian banknote, we just had the little threads of the UV. Yeah, so that's UV. Move it away, they disappear. Okay, so then we've got the paper Malaysian one ringgit. Same as the Italian banknote we saw, uh, except they have this. It's a security thread, also has UV on it. So that's something different that we haven't seen before. So there's the security thread. As you can see, it shows up as UV. Interesting. Then we've got the Malaysian, no, the Indonesian 1000 rupiah. Dear Andrew, this is from me to you, Chris. Okay. Then we've got the previous 10,000 rupiah, clip onto a dollar. Uh, so the UV is only in the security. Oh no, that's 100 there. And also the um, serial number is UV as well. Okay. Previous Thailand, 20 baht. Obviously, the threads are becoming more common now. Now we've featured there is the one of Rama the Ninth. So the last series of him, where his son took over. And once again, the same. And here we have the 100 buck, equivalent to about 5 bucks. So the UV feature is on this side. So you've got 100 there, and this patination shows up. How about on the back? No, just the security threads. Another 100 baht. Okay, then we got the Mongolian 1000 tall Glock. Looks like his face shows up as UV. That's pretty interesting. So the first time the main feature on the banknote actually has UV on it. And on the back, uh, nothing. Here's another one. So that is very in. Oh no, we've got the serial number, shows up as UV as well. Uh, only one no. And that's basically it. So that is the adventures of UV radiation. Uh, just remember, don't do it too often because you know, this actually causes skin cancer. Thank you and goodbye.